Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspired by dreams. Shop. And we got everything from hoodies, hats, snapbacks, a little bit of everything to get to drip on. Okay, this episode right here, we're talking about once again smash and grab. This time around, it gets really messy, man. Nasty work. How they're breaking into a very popular LA sneaker store. Let's check it out. hit a high-end sneaker store in South LA, getting away with tens of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. That same crew may be responsible for a similar heist this week in the Valley. Gigi Graciette is live in the Gramercy Park neighborhood with more on this story. Good morning. Good morning. Sources telling us they're definitely looking at the possibility that this is the same crew that hit another high-end sneaker shop in Encino on Wednesday. At least two of the three getaway cars used here this morning are the same. Now take a look. We're live here at Rich LA Clothing and Sneakers where the cleanup is underway. The amount of damage inside the store. Uh, there is so much damage. You can see all that broken glass there. We're going to pan over to the side business right there. That is the clothing part of this business tearing down businesses in your own community is not the way it is not the way you're thinking that it's just you know this is short-term crimes it's gonna lead to long-term sentences it's not worth it batter the metal gate cut through and we want to go to the surveillance video that caught it all on camera take a look it was 325 this morning when surveillance cameras caught the suspects arriving at rich la a high-end sports shop here on century and van Ness, right on the border of la and inglewood first you see a white mercedes benz and then a camaro and a corvette and those are the two car sources say they believe to be the same ones used in a similar burglary on Wednesday. The burglars get out. There are at least six of them. They're armed with... And let me just add, number one, if you're a store... Okay, I see a couple things that's a problem. The store was open as far as like the glass where it could be broken into with a, like a glass breaker or something. You have to have better security in these times, especially when you're hearing smash and grabs in other communities. Don't think it can't happen to your store. This is a prime example. And they immediately get to work. They shatter the glass. They cut their way in through the metal gates. And then they start stealing anything and everything. At times, they drop stuff and actually take the time to pick it up off the floor. They take high-end sneakers that sell for close to $200 a pair, including boxes with about $20,000 worth of merchandise that had just arrived yesterday. The owners didn't even have time to unpack it. And now it is gone. Now, these owners they're all here they don't want to speak on camera understandably uh, so they are so nice but they are absolutely heartbroken and devastated and this is one of the reasons take a look July 11th take a look at this video they were also burglarized uh, by other suspects that arrived at least 10 of them slamming that white Kia you see there through the front glass there it goes right there they use that car as a weapon and they stole again anything and everything they're still recovering look at the amount of suspects involved in this smash and grab the smashing done by that car now we told you about Encino take a look at this video exclusive surveillance video that Fox 11 obtained showing the burglars arriving in three getaway cars including a white Camaro and a Corvette seen right there those burglars six of them hitting the equivalent sports collectible shop stealing tens of thousands of dollars worth in merchandise and we had just been there at that same shop eight months ago when they were also burglarized again sources telling us they believe that that crew that you're looking at right now on ventura boulevard in encino is the same crew that struck again here on century and van Ness at about 3:25 this morning 
We believe, just like in Encino, there was a high-speed pursuit of these suspects, but again, they got away in three cars, making it almost impossible to catch them. Bringing it back here live, the cleanup is underway. The owners absolutely heartbroken and devastated. $100,000 worth of merchandise, $20,000 in cash, and a gun. Why did they have a gun? Because they had just been burglarized. They had it for protection. I'm going to leave you with this live look again at a burglary at a high-end clothing and sneaker shop. I'm Gigi Graciette reporting live. We'll send it back to you. Wow. Come on, y'all. We got to do better. And it's almost like this is starting to become like a like an ongoing thing that people think they're getting used to. So the more people see, you know, the outcomes of these crimes, hopefully they don't want to take the same steps of doing or doing the same thing that these people are doing. Because, I mean, what is it all about? And what it and what what is it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Stealing somebody's car to then organ and it's organized crime. So what they don't understand the laws for that is completely it's, it's changing. Things are changing. Organized crimes get you more time. I don't know. You guys let me know down below what you think. Leave your comments down below. You know, I love you guys. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. You're new to this channel. You know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.